Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. I am Alon Paul, and if you haven't heard of me before, I want to welcome you to the channel and to a new series I'm going to start. I haven't done this in a while. It's uh, since before the expedition. If you're looking at the screen right now, you'll notice that I only have these four saves right here. I have this one, which I'm doing as regular recordings right now for a playthrough. I've got my main save, uh, running at around 275 hours, and uh, my original main save, which is another 200 hours or so. Plus this survival save that I had since last year that I did a survival run all the way to the center of the galaxy. I'm going to do a permadeath run today. Now, there are a couple other permadeath runs going on right now. Um, you have Beeblebum, who I follow very closely as well. Uh, wonderful streamer. If you haven't seen him before, please watch him. Um, very good channel he's got there. He does something called the um, Refugee Run, I think it's called. You're, you're basically, uh, you're on the run. Your fugitive, pardon me, refugee, fugitive run. It is the fugitive run. He has special rules and everything like that. And we'll do that as well. Those are better for um, live streams. Now, I usually live stream once a weekend, once every other weekend, I should say. Uh, usually either on a Friday night or Saturday night, I try to let folks know in advance which night I'm going to do it on. And I'll do it for three or four hours. And we'll do usually a viewer's choice, but this probably, this next one's going to be a fugitive run. And we'll see how we do. This is going to be very similar to that in that all we have to do is find a ship. Now, there's two ways to get a ship. We're going to do what's called the permadeath no starter ship challenge. We do not look for a ship that we can purchase at a trade station. Um, we can get one there if we wish. Uh, that's, that's incorrect. I apologize. We can get one from a trade station. We can get one from a pilot who lands next to us. We can purchase their ship or we can find a crashed one. The problem is, is that in permadeath mode, and I'll go ahead and show this to you real quick. So we're going to do custom here and we're going to change difficulty to permadeath, but we're going to change all the settings to maximum. So scan and recharge, challenging. Your save is deleted if you die, which means we can't get anything back. Fuel usage is expensive. Purchases are expensive. Your inventory stack, stack, stack limits are going to be severely reduced and to harsh. Enemy combat strength is going to be challenging. Everything's hostile. Predators are on. Tutorial missions are going to be disabled, and that gives us access to a couple parts that we can build when we find a crash ship, or if we find a crash ship. Uh, I'm not really worried about reputation and standing, but we're going to go ahead and increase that too, and the difficulty settings we're going to lock. Now what this does is if you get up to here, uh, where is it here? Um, survival dif difficulty is going to be very, very challenging and your uh, health is going to be very, very... I mean, the planet, the damage levels here, it is cha challenging as well. It's going to be very difficult. So the point behind this whole thing is that we don't look for our starter ship. We go in an opposite direction for wherever our starter ship is. We have to survive the elements, combat everything, pick up items on the ground that we can find to keep us surviving, as well as look for things that we can sell. Occasionally a trader may drop down. If we find a trade station, we can sell stuff there. So that is what we're going to try to do here. And the point of the mission, if we really wanted to continue beyond finding a crash ship or purchasing a ship, we could upgrade it and everything like that. But usually at that point, you're done. So we're going to try to find a ship, either crashed or something we can purchase with what money we can gather along the way. The ships are very expensive. Expensive, expensive ships. See, purchase is expensive. So finding one is going to be tough. We'd need at least, say, 7 million credits to buy a ship that's the cheapest ship on the market. So we're going to see how we do here. So I'm doing this as just a regular recording. And we're going to go ahead and get this started. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Man's Sky. Now, so we're about to start the mission here as we pop onto the planet. And when we do, it's just going to be basically a run to survive. To gather elements as we go. So here we go. Oh, it's a cold planet. That's a good thing. Cave should be... Looks like we got a cave right next to us. That is fantastic. So first thing we're going to do is gather up elements. We're going to get some sodium from this guy. This will help us survive a little bit. You notice my temperature is already dropping. Mining beam starts at 50%. Let's get some cobalt. But if we can, we can't... We, we don't have an, anal an analysis visor analysis. So let's get some ferrite dust. There's no secondary elements, so we'll get some as much ferrite dust as we can, and we're going to need carbon, too. We'll duck into the cave when we need to. 
get some more stuff. Now, see, we're not getting a lot of ferrite dust from these things. You'll notice that, right? We barely even have 50 yet. All right. Let's get some carbon. Because we're going to need that, too. Hopefully, we get more carbon from the plants, right? All right, that's not bad. 40 is pretty good. Oh, careful. I don't want to overheat yet. But we keep it hot. We can gather things up a little quicker. All right, there we go. Good, good, good. Well, it's been a while since I've made any videos, just standard videos. I've been doing so much live streaming lately. Uh, it seems odd to be doing it this way, and you're going to hear my voice later on. Oh, almost missed that. Oh, that sucks. Got a little bit of more stuff out of it, so that's good. I need as much of this as I can get. And I'm just loving hearing that voice in the background telling me that my... That everything's falling. I may increase the volume of the game so you can hear things a little bit better. Okay, I think we got enough ferrite dust now. Let's check our inventory, shall we? That's pretty good. We don't have a lot of sodium, but we got a good amount of carbon. That I'm pleased about. We definitely need... Oh, the weapon charge is depleted, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And we'll get a little bit more ferrite dust out of these things here. All right. Let's head for the cave. Let's duck in because we want to gather more materials and recharge just in case. All right, looks like we got a couple plants there. We're going to get oxygen from one. That's good. We can always use that. Depending upon how the planet goes and what plants are available to us on the planet, we might be able to get away with not making life support gels, even though it tells us to do so. All right, there we go. Cobalt is very handy to produce batteries while we go along. So I'm going to get that. Um, let's see what we can build inside of here. We have no supercharged slots, so leaving everybody put is probably fine. Multi-tool, we got one. So I'm going to move you over. We need to repair you, and what do we need? Ferrite dust. We have just enough. Good. So the scanner's ready, but we need a visor. Analysis visor to get things. And we need a carbon nanotube for that. Let's make that real quick. I think we've got enough carbon, right? Yes, we do. Okay, good. All right. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Not a lot of room in that uh, tool either. So let's see if we can analyze this. It gives us silver, so that's not very handy. What about the other one? Dihydrogen is handy. Yes, we'll take that every time. So the ones that are hanging from the ceiling are the ones I'm going to aim for the most. Platinum. Now platinum is a worthy metal. I will go ahead and grab that. Gold I'm not so keen about. It's not worth as much. But platinum is. Now we have limited inventory space. Keep that in mind. Ah, terrain manipulator would come in handy to get down into the deep cave, huh? Interesting. But it's expensive. Those are expensive to make. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to turn this on. Where are you? Toggle camera view. I'm going to make a hotkey. Uh, let's get some more cobalt from you. So I think it's time to make ourselves some batteries. That'll keep me recharged and alive. Oh, excellent. Put some batteries down here. How many can we make? 10. That's good. 11, 12. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we have just, we, we, we're out of ferrite dust and stuff, so we're going to need more of that as we go. Uh, let's pick a direction. Our ship is that way, which we're not going to head towards. We want to head the other way. Um, we want to pick up things on the way. Uh, what do we get? Tarek, buried technology is a very handy item to pick up. All right. There's some over there. Which direction is this? That's north. That's south. I'm going to head east for the first time. Wait, that's south? That's west. I'm heading west for the first time. Let's just recharge while we duck into the cave. And then we're going to head out and we're going to head in that direction. And hopefully we'll find oxygen on the way and dihydrogen and things like that. Okay, here we go. Let's head out.
Ah, good, it's these plants. Excellent. Grab the grass gassy pods, and then back away. So they don't hurt you. See, we got 50 of it. Grab the sodium, too, because that can come in handy as well later on. You don't need a lot of it. Other items on the planet, like the wheat and tubers, come in handy for recharging things. This will recharge your life support. This takes care of hazard protection. So, get the food. Looks like we got condensed carbon down there, too. That's going to be a big thing right here. All right. Let's get some of that. We'll get some more ferrite dust while we're here, because... Having, keeping about 50 to 100 on you at all times is a good idea. If you can keep more, better. Oh, good. That's going to come in handy. I want to get as much as I can right now. Like I said, if I can get about 100 of it, because if you damage something like your jetpack or your life support, you need that to repair it. Oh, good. Anytime you get those uh, geodes, they come in handy. All right, how much do we got? 183, 28, 255. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's a good amount. All right, let's get our condensed carbon, and we will use that to recharge. And we can't get the big ones, unfortunately. We don't have a upgrade for it. But the little ones are handy. All right, good, good, good. Got about 20 of them. These are handy to get, too, so we can get places faster. Uh, all right. And when it gets down to 25%, go ahead and use one. Now, it looks like we've got buried technology, and if we use first person, we should be able to gather it. I hope. No. Oh, no. No. No, it won't let us pick it up. We have to have a terrain manipulator for that one. All right, let's grab this while we're here. Do I have to damage machinery at the start? Because it'll come in handy. If it's got rusted metal, grab it. Carry about 300 of it. I already got a scanner module. Isn't that great? That is going to come in very handy. What do we get from that? Please tell you it's animals, flora, and fauna. Yes, it's got fauna. So what does that mean for us? It means if I scan a tree... We'll get a lot more money for it. See, 25000 instead of like two hundred. And if we can get other little animals, like this guy right here. 42000 There is somebody over there. There we go. 128000 So that's really, really handy. And just scan as any, any plants you can get your hands on. See? Because flora and fauna, that's going to come in handy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we got some good animals out of this. Nice. 68,000 for them. Okay, good. So that gives us a good chunk of change. We've already got 360,000. All right. Let's move on. We'll go ahead and get some words while we're here. Let's go ahead and get the Gek language. I'm not going to read everything, so too bad. All right. We're going to try to keep this to one-hour episodes, but I can't promise that. Anytime I see red, I'm going to try to mine it. Though I think I've been here already. Yeah, get that off of there. Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't get the buried technology on that one. So I'm going to go for this one up here. Uh, and that's the direction we wanted to go at. We can't get these either. But we can get these. Oh, I forgot. Alright, so because you drop below 20%, it will try to use two of your batteries. Grab one and drop it in. Okay, little trick there. Always grab the dihydrogen. If we got to make life support gels, we can. But we are gathering a good amount of oxygen as we go across the planet, so that might not be necessary. And don't forget we have those... I, I already forgot them. Don't forget we have the uh, flower, uh, flowers, the plants that we've gathered as well that can 
boost up some of our materials that we have. Alright, good deal. Next. Try to keep low to the ground so you don't injure yourself too much. We got a lot of damaged machinery around here, which means a lot of buried technology and possibility of getting upgrades. So, this is a good thing. You can get some extra oxygen from them if you shoot them. And I'm going to grab that because he's in my way. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can grab this one. It's not going to let me grab it either, is it? Ah, uh, I'm going to have to get a technology, uh, what do you call it, a buried... Terrain manipulator is the word I'm looking for. Okay, let's see. That's going to require two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. Two carbon nanotubes. I think we've got enough carbon, maybe. Nope, we don't. We do have enough for a dihydrogen jelly, which I need more than one right now. Let's grab three. Because we're going to make a... What do I need? Eight carbon. So we need a lot of carbon here. Uh, let's get out of that. That's annoying me. Uh, we'll grab the rusted metal. And we'll get nanites out of that one. And we're, so we're going to have to use another battery here in just a minute. I don't want to stop it just yet. There we go. Now, go ahead and analyze the trees that you don't know that have secondary elements because you get other elements, like in this case, oxygen. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more carbon here. Some of the plants will sometimes give you more of carbon than others, so it's usually a good idea to just go for more, if you can. Find the plants that give you more items, and you can go from there. Okay, any more animals here that we can scan? No? Okay. So it looks like we have some buried technology over here. Let's see if we can get this one. And you know what? Let's see if we can actually build this now. We can. Now why do we go for the buried technology? How many we get? Two? Looks like we're just getting two of them. Because they're worth quite a bit of money. See, 104000 just for that. We're going to hang on to this for the prospect of... Possi on the possibility of... Um, where are we with this? Of uh, getting a refiner so that we can make it into other stuff. And into ferrite. See? Look at that. Very handy. Now there's another one over here. I'm going to try the... The this method and see if I can get it and it looks like I cannot yep won't let me get it unbelievable it's going to be one of those planets there we go that should give me two more you have nothing I need there upgrade would be great nothing okay we'll just get some nanites out of that one that's fine all right, so we're headed this way. Now, our ship is over there. We're kind of trying to stay away from the ship, so maybe we should be heading in a different direction. I thought we were headed this way. So we'll go ahead and head back this way, then. Very technology straight in front of us. We're also looking for buildings. We want to see if there's any buildings present. Okay, let's go that way. And always scan plants and stuff because it's giving us money. Alright, get away. I'll take you. Alright. Can we grab it in first person? And the answer is still no. Oh, wow. I hope they haven't nerfed that. That would suck, because that's always been a great... Hello. Um, there we go. 
a great thing to use on these planets, so you didn't have to use that. But anyway, I digress. All right, we've already been here. Okay. So we are basically heading back the way we came, unfortunately. But that's okay. Let's go over here. Grab this one, because I don't think we did. They're buried technology over here, too. That's much further away than I thought it would be. Let's go over there anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And let's see if we can get this one. Ah, see, we can. Got it. Four of them on that one. That's great. And it happens to have some buried technology right there, too. Let's get it from here first. Because we're looking for upgrades. Nanites it is. Okay, that's all right. Nope, can't get this one either. There we go. All right, so how many do we have now? Let's see. We've got a bunch of them, so what we got. 468 and 312, that's very good. Let's add that in, add that in. Plus, okay, good. We'll rearrange some stuff later as we find more things to get. All right, let's go for this buried technology there, and then we'll move on. I think this one we've already gotten. No, it isn't. I will take you. You, and you, and you, and you, and all those. And what about the little plant? Hmm, okay, good. We'll grab some sweet root while we're here. Alright, let's grab our buried technology and move on. Hmm. Strange, is it on the other side of the hill? Or is it just really, really, really deep? Alright, where'd it go? It vanished. Well, that's weird. Okay, well, so be it. Yep, I literally do not see it anymore. These things are very handy. Let's go ahead and grab them. There we go. All right. Supposedly there is something here. I wonder if it's down underneath. Let's check. What I thought it was? It is. It's a cave. And that's why we couldn't find what we were looking for. But now that we're in a cave... Well, isn't that interesting? Don't need any Fecium. Oh, that brings back bad memories. <laughs> More nanites. Okay, and there's our buried technology, which I think we can not get. Okay. Ooh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get it, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. All right, good deal. All right, so we're headed th that way. I don't know if we can get out of the cave. Nope. Yeah, we're going to have to go a different route. All right, so we were headed... Where's our ship at? Ship's over there. We're heading in the opposite direction, so we're heading in that direction. So we'll just take the cave for just a couple minutes. Why don't we, while we're here, grab a little bit of oh, silver? Interesting. I don't need silver. That's silver too. What is going on? The world is upside down. Alright. Let's get in here and get rid of our silver. We don't need it. It's not worth anything. We got a good amount of ferrite here. So that's good. Should be able to get... 
I want to get rid of that. Let me get that. Oh, we already determined that that was silver. Let's get one more battery and then we're done here. Because I don't like having extra space in my inventory for stuff I'm never going to use. Alright, let's get rid of you. Alright, let's rearrange while we're here. I'm going to put the sodium over here. We're going to do carbon, condensed carbon, oxygen below it. Ferrite, we don't need ferrite plus. We're going to be selling you. We need dihydrogen. That is for hazard protection. We'll leave it alone. We don't really need any projectiles right now. I'll hang on to them and get rid of them at the last. Sodium, get rid of that. This is for recharging our unit there. Oh, looks like you need a charge too. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that because as we dig, we're going to get more of it anyway. This we're going to hang on to for now. We're going to turn it into more ferrite if we need it. If not, no big deal. So we now have two stacks of this worth about a million. We've already got 385,000. So we're doing pretty good. We've got a good amount of oxygen as well. I get out of that. Watch out for plants. Uh, which way are we going? We're going this way. Uh, let's see if the cave turns to the left. Some, in, in other runs, I would probably grab these, but they're really not worth enough for me to make a bother about it. Okay, here we go. Is that? No, it's not. Ready? Let's make ourselves a hole, shall we? Get out of this place. And we're out. All right, where's our next joint? Next stop. All right, let's go straight for this one, and we're going to keep heading in this direction. I know there's some mods to change your voice. I would really like that one of these days. And drop. Okay, good deal. I swear it looks like there's snow falling, doesn't it? Oh, can get it. Alright, moving on. No digging required. Always check your scanner, because we're looking for buildings. We're looking for what it thinks are unknown buildings. Unknown buildings could also be crashed ships. Watch the ships as they fly overhead, too, because if you're looking for any place to go, they will point you in that direction. See, they are going up and to the left. That indicates that there should be a trader station in that direction. So we're going to head straight south now. I want to follow the ships. I have too many times ignored them and said, ah, maybe I'm wrong, and I was right. But south it is. And it looks like we got something straight in front of us. We'll go ahead and go to that damaged machinery. Maybe we could find something special. Okay, let's go. So we're already about 25 minutes or so into this. Not much. We got a good amount into it so far. We'll see how we do. We could use about 200 of this. Let's go ahead and grab it. Always good to have a good supply of sodium. We could use it. There we go. Okay. And let's head over to the machinery. Maybe we'll get another upgrade. Maybe we'll get fortunate. We'll see. More nanites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Is there any... There is buried technology right there. And... It's going to let us pick it up. No? And our life support is low, as you just heard. So we do want to use a gel to get that back to normal. Alright. So we're heading south. I heard some ships fly over. That's a good sign. That means this planet, the more often you see, you hear ships going over, that's a good thing. That means you're getting closer to a, to a landing pad or something like that. The thing is, is that we don't have a lot of money yet, so we can't really buy. So the more often we can find that buried technology, then the better off we'll be. 
Let's get the plant while we're here. Yeah, 25,000. It's at least something, you know? Alright, berry technology it is. Let's head going. Let's head towards it. Looking for things to scan. Looking for buildings. Want to keep your eyes open and peeled. Hey, buddy. You would probably be a good uh, animal to have. If we were allowed to make pellets at this point. Alright, good. That should be enough sodium for now. I don't think we'll need anything else. Alright, let's keep going. What is this material here? Cobalt. Huh. You know what? We're going to hold off on that. I think we're doing okay there. There we go. How are we doing on oxygen? Let's just check that real quick. I'm curious. 200. All right. Hello there. Just flew right over my head. You guys are going in a different direction than I expected. And you're going to go... Straight? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of going that direction now. Oh, now you're going all the way back that way. Okay, never mind. Then I'm going to skip it. What do you got? I'll grab it for now. That'll probably be the last bundle of ferrite, uh, rusted metal I get. By hydrogen, nice. I'll go ahead and do that too. What do you got for me? Anything? I'm not going to grab that this time. A relic. Okay, well, we don't really need that. And we'll get that. Dense carbon. Very, very handy. Due south. Remember, that's what we said we are going to do. Okay. Now, let's take a look. There is one right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. What is this, gold? Copper? Yeah, we don't really need that just yet. I had it. There it is. Okay, good. And what do you have for me? Anything? Let's find out, shall we? Anything? Thermal protection, but it's for fire. Okay, well, close, but no cigar. I'll go ahead and grab it. It's not going to help me here, but it'll come in handy. Because we can always uninstall it, and we can get some materials out of it. So, looks like we're doing pretty good here, though. We've got about a million and a half. Uh, let's make another of this. Okay, good. What's this? Hazard? There we go. Okay. Let's see where those guys are going, shall we? we can get up to the top of the hill here. To see them. And they vanished. There they go. See them? And they're going to go up to the right, but they're going to come back towards us. Which means that they're trying to direct us back the other way. But we're already going this way. So let's see how we do. Okay. We got some plants ahead of us. Those are good things. Get them while you're having inventory space. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, did we already scan you? Yeah, we did. Did we already get all the animals? I'm curious. Discoveries. Four of seven. We got a flying and two underground. Ah, uh, we may not get them all. It'd be nice to have the nanites, of course, but we don't really need them. Frostwort, I don't think is worth much, but at the same time, the problem is, is that we don't have hazmat gauntlets and we won't get the recipe for them. Not likely. The likelihood of us getting the recipe is going to be pretty slim to none. Let's go ahead and grab all these dihydrogens while we're here, since we have a good crop of them. It's not very often you come across it in permadeath mode like this. All right. Looks good. Uh, technology? Any buildings? No? Okay, let's keep going. See, we got some more. See, now in the normal mode, rather than permadeath, these crystals would go a lot quicker. You'd be blasting right through them, and you wouldn't overheat your laser beam getting a whole cropping of them. Okay. Yeah, we don't 
don't really need it anymore. So you can see that we've gotten to the point where we don't really, we're not really in danger of dying. So we're in, we're in better shape. Any buildings? We got a knowledge stone. That's not really important to us right now. Okay, keep going. A lot of times where there's buried technology, there's also, uh... Oh, my. Did I break something? I didn't think I was that high off the ground. No, I fortunately did not. Alright, gotta be careful. We can always use more carbon, so grab carbon while you go. Regular carbon helps us develop or get more items as far as, uh... Like, life support gels and things like that, so... There we go. We'll grab that. Okay, anything else down here? No. Get that oxygen patch real fast. Okay, good. Let's take a look now. So we're heading in this direction. Now, we do want to start paying attention to ships flying overhead. Okay. Let's look at our inventory real quick. Get our hazard up a little bit. This is life support. Not bad, huh? And more hazard protection. Excellent. Grab that while we're here. We can carry a good amount of it in our inventory. Ooh. Anytime you see the blue flowers, grab them. Oh, we got, we got ships flying overhead. Let's see if we can fly and land on top of one of them. I'm kidding. Which way do they go? Alright, they're heading more to the left again. And they're heading away. So that means we should be heading right about that direction. So, instead of due south, we should be heading that way. So that's the direction we're going to head. Alright, let's take a look. See what we got. Uh, looks like we got some buried technology. The ship is quite a distance away. Let's go for the buried technology real quick. How's this one, too? Grabbing them both would be very beneficial to us, I think. We should be seeing Sentinels pop up soon, so we've got to gather up what materials we can for the time being before they start popping up and getting mad at us. There we go. I thought there might be damaged machinery near here, but I don't see any. Alright, so we're heading this direction now, as we know. Take a look. Okay. Kind of disconcerted by the fact... Disconcerted? Disconcerted? By the fact that we're not seeing a whole lot of buildings. That's bothering me. But, you know, the, we have ships flying overhead at a regular basis and at a regular route. Uh, so, that's good. Be nice to see that flying creature they keep talking about. Oh, hey, there they are. 42,000 for that boy. That's nice. Alright, let's keep going. Good, good, good. So this looks like it's a halfway decent run so far. We got a good amount of materials. We got some, we're getting some upgrades, so that's nice. We're getting plenty of things for money. All right, got four out of that one. That's great. Uh, let's hit that one. Oh, there's one up the slope that might be closer. Okay. Well, we'll want to go up the slope too. That'll help us take a look around. Get us used to doing it with uh, no HUD on occasion, right? Alright. I think today's the day that the Sentinels show up. Oh, broken machinery. Excellent. Got it. Let's see what we get out of this one. Just nanites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go up. Because I want to get up the slope because I can hear some ships coming. Technology 
Yeah, I've got it. That is a really neat monolith, isn't it? Right there. That's really cool. Anyway, keep going. Ah, I wonder if that guy had landed near me. I think that's what happened. Because usually they jet really fast like that after they've landed. Let's get you first. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. It is an upgrade, but not the one we're looking for. It's a pulse engine module, so we can sell it. 300 nanites, if we meet somebody. And that gives us 479, but... I don't know. May not be worth it. Alright, looks like we got another stack here. Let's go ahead and get this up to snuff. Alright. Life support's good. Hazard protection's good. Come on now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Nope, not gonna give it to me. Alright, let's go with that. Alright. Alright, take a look. I'm hoping to see if we can find something here. Alright, so we're, we were headed in this direction towards that. So let's go that way. Okay. I hear ships going overhead. One ship going overhead. That's unusual. Usually it's at least two and three. Well, we'll watch him anyway. And still a little bit more to the left, so he's still trying to direct us in that direction towards that monolith and that far one. So we'll head towards, towards that one for now. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's what I thought. As long as it doesn't tell you something got broken, you're in good shape. You're okay. So we can keep surviving this. Lots of plants. Oh, we have a plant we haven't read, seen yet. Nope, that was a rock. Oh, there's our first sentinel. Excellent. So we're going to try something here. I'm going to try getting to the top of this thing. Because flat surfaces... As you climb with your jetpack, as long as you can stay facing the surface, you can continue fly up. There you go. And we're at the edge of it. You hear them. As much as I can hear them, I can hear them. Whoa, okay. Hi, guys. I'd shoot them, but... You know what? Let me check something real quick in my options. I don't want them shooting me, but... PvP. No one. And it looks like it changed everything. There we go. Okay. Just wanted to make sure those settings were set properly. Now we don't have to worry about people messing with my stuff. All right, here we go. There. That worked. Okay, good. Let's get up there. Mountaintops are always good. Let's make sure we take a quick peek because we don't want to run past something that we could have used. Uh, unknown building. You know what that is? That's actually very handy. Let's head there. I think that's one of those facilities, that, that one of those uh, monoliths that will give you an upgrade. We could use that right about now. Let's go ahead and do that, because that will be really handy if we can get something good out of them. I think that's one of them. We'll find out in a minute. 
Yep, ran out of run juice. Okay, let's see what we can get. Uh, Masters of the Galaxy. Nope. No, it's not going to help us any. We can do knowledge of the past, and it'll find us uh, something very expensive. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe it'll give us a pullback view, and we can take a look around. Uh, no clouds. Looks like there's a facility all the way dead north of where I am. And we allow ourselves to do that. So let's go ahead and do that in this one. This is not the... What do you call it, run? The fugitive run, so... Uh, you know what? Take advantage of a cave when you see one, please. A little bit further in. There we go. Just let it recharge for a moment. Let's check out our inventory. See how much space we don't have left. Now, we could build a refiner right about now. now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because I don't think we need it anymore. That'll give our life support, and that's hazard protection. All right, so we're running low on life support. We need some more of that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my projectiles. That'll be good. Uh, we need to sell you. So what do we have here? We got two, not quite three million. So that's not bad. This isn't really worth a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, that should uh, that should keep us going for a little bit here. All right, we are fully charged. Let's go ahead and exit. This way. We'll head towards... I don't know how far away that is. Let me see. 22 minutes. That's not terrible. All right, we're going to go ahead and use our gel. These guys are flying over. What I was going to do is I was going to try something. Because I've seen other people do it. And sometimes it makes them land. Alright. Let's stop here and take a look. So that's our place about 20 minutes away. We're going to check it out. That is what I saw. I don't know what that is. That's just a little campsite. Okay, there's not much there. There might be some buried technology over there and a piece of broken machinery. Sometimes those particular machineries might contain something. Right there. Right there. Okay. We got three of it. That's very good. What do you have for us? Maybe an upgrade? Starship shield module. Ah, uh, yay. Things we don't need. But it's an A-class. It's worth 300 nanites. Okay, because we're inside, it is giving ourselves a chance to recharge. Unlike a cave. Anything over here? No? Okay, good. Recharged all the way. Let's continue on. Uh, let me see if this works. No. And the ship turned and left, but I don't know where he went. We got a building over here, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and grab that. I'm going to grab this condensed carbon because it's really handy to have. I don't see a ship having landed anywhere. That was a technique that I've seen a couple people use and they said that they could get them to land and trade with them, but I don't know. I haven't seen it happen for me. And since we have an unknown building, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. It's not in the direction that we're going, of course, but unknown buildings could mean crashed ships, which means I could get myself a ship right away. 
Ooh, look at this. Hidden cache of condensed carbon. I'll take it. Alright, that looks good. You know what I could use? I could use a jetpack upgrade, maybe? And of course, you know, thermal protection for old planet. Uh, it looks like it might be just a monolith, but even if it's a monolith, it's worthwhile. No, it is a station. Okay, that's fine. We can duck in anyway. Wow, look at the paint job on this place. It's purple. I haven't seen one like that before. That's pretty cool. There should be a door over here someplace. No? Okay. There we go. And in we go. Alright, that'll take care of us for a little bit here. What's this? Hazard protection. We're going to leave that alone. A little bit of ferrite. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the one. Okay, and that leaves us with four spots open. Uh, let's put you down here for now. I'm going to put you over here and put you over here. Okay, five spots. That's good. Now, I think this is an observatory. Yeah, it's not... Not what we're looking for. That's going to take us to a system outside here, but still we can take a look around. I accidentally clicked and got it right. Go figure. Yay, clouds. Helps us not at all. <laughs> it's so... Oh well. It is what it is. No big deal. Different planet, different world. I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's get out of this place. Uh, so we are headed in this general direction. Not there. Rather be heading in that way. It's the ancient ruin. Let's go that way and we'll see what we can do. We're going to keep going. I think we're going to keep going with this episode. It'll be a longer one, but it is what it is. Okay. What do we need? Plants? Any more buildings nearby? No. Damaged machinery. Let's check it out. Oh, won't let us. Where are you going, guys? Let's see if they head out to the right now. Let's just watch them for a second. Meantime, I'm going to use oxygen this time to upgrade. Yeah, see, they headed to the right now. So we are actually heading in the right direction. We want to head this way. Okay, let's see what you got for me. Any upgrades? I mean, think about it. I've gotten three or four upgrades now. Holy mackerel! That's another upgrade, but unfortunately, it is the same one as I got before. So I'll put it in here. We're not going to be able to use it, but again, we can we can uninstall them and get product out of them. So we'll, we'll put them up there for now. Um... Got four more. Excellent. All right. That's very, very good. All right. Let's head out and head in this direction. And I'm hoping that we find something soon. I don't think we need any more materials like that. Ooh, careful. Jeez. Almost busted my ankle. The thermal protection's about to get out. Five of those left. And you notice that the ships flying overhead are becoming more frequent. See? The more frequent they become, that means the closer you're getting to a landing place. They're going to head to the right. Watch. See? Very good. So we got someplace out this way that we're going to have some ships at. Thing is, is that we may not have enough money to buy what we're looking for. So we got to keep looking. Ooh, what's that? 
Metal fingers. We can get some platinum from them, we're okay. And we got a good amount of uh, buried technology, so I'll head that way. Launch your jetpack juice. Okay, good. And it is literally one metal finger. And it's gold. That helps me not at all. Okay, let's go ahead and get the buried technology down here, though. We got a few of them. Okay, and there's one more over here. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, got that one. And what do we got in here? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Give us thermal. Give us thermal. Or jetpack. Nanites. That's fine. We'll take it. Alright, so what do we got? One, two, three, and a half. Plus whatever we got. Not bad. You know what? Those could be worth something. Let's go ahead and grab that. Before we do that, we have that. Good. These guys up here, as long as we don't get anybody bugging us like a sentinel, like him... We can get all three. Four. Yeah, I know. We're moving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're leaving. Come on. This one. Nope, can't. We want to get as much of this berry technology as we can. Okay. Where's south? That way. We're still heading this direction. Okay. Uh, where is our stuff? Let's see. All right, we're doing pretty good here. I can get rid of that. I was hoping to get an upgrade, like an exosuit chart or or something like that, because those are worth. Okay, those guys will be heading to the right. Like I said, I'm getting very positive vibes because the more often that they show up, the ships do, the better off we are at finding a landing platform. Like, maybe over there? Possibly? Hmm? Maybe? All right. Five, fifty-four minutes, something like that. Okay. I don't think I've ever found a ship within an hour, so. We got enough sodium to keep us going for a while, too. Alright, life support. <clears throat> We're gonna have to find some plants soon or something. Actually, we do have enough dihydrogen. Let me just see if I can make another gel or two. We can. Good. That means we can make life support gels. Excellent. All right, we're in good shape. Uh, I don't know what that is. We need more, because we just used a bunch. Close enough for me, to, for me to hit them with that. Are they going to go to the right? They are. Okay, good. Like I said, I'm getting more and more frequent at seeing those, so I'm hoping that means something very important. Unless this is a... It's not what I think it is. Okay. 
All right. What do we got? Ammunition? Yeah, that's useless to me. And this might have a dihydrogen jelly in it. Or microprocessor. That's usually the other thing I try to find in those. Get rid of you. We're running out of cargo space fast here, folks. Let's talk. Alright, let's do this to Biden Cole. Leave a thanks. Okay. Oh, he recharged. That's cool. He charged my hazard protection. That was very nice of him. And we got some more nanites. Uh, there should be... Very technology. There it is. Got it. Okay, good. All good. This way. This one on the surface. No, didn't get him. Got to do it a little bit earlier. I got to remember to do that earlier. Ancient ruin. No, that's not going to help us any. Okay, let's head to this plant over here. I think we can get some frozen tubers that'll help us a little bit. And where are you guys? There you are. Excellent. Wow. Okay. Kind of jumped up in the air a mile. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Anything good? So that's the place we kind of headed towards a little bit, but we want to head in this general direction instead. Let's check out the buried cache. I'm curious as to what it holds. Oh. Nah, they want to use two. Alright, let's do this. There. And we'll replace it right now with just a little bit of this. There we go. That's what we do. Let's just see something. I don't know if I can gather it this way. I can. Discarded air circulator. What is it going to give us? Let's find out. Hmm, some copper. It's not really worth it to me. We'll get rid of that. Let's see if he lands. No, he just leaves. When, oh, that's going to be the walking uh, charge there. Yeah, 8,000 units. Congratulations to me. See some frozen tubers there. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Whoop. Whew, that was close. All right, good. Anything in view? No? Okay. Again, that is the item we were kind of going towards. We're going to head in this general direction. I'm going to grab the berry technology that's ahead of me. Some more frozen tubers to get my life support. There we go. Oh, it looks like we've got a couple berry technologies over here and some damaged machinery. Good. Let's see if we can grab this one from the ground. Or is it going to make me dig? It's going to make me dig. Okay. frozen tubers here. So let's take advantage of there we go. That. Alright. This might be the last group of berry technology we're going to get here. 
because I think our inventory is a little too full. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, we got one spot left in our inventory. Two spots. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Two spots left in our inventory. Okay, so we're good. Where is the berry technology? It should be right here. Oh, there it is. I don't know if we can grab this one again. It's on a slope. Oh, oh yeah, we can. Okay, good. All right, so this direction is where we're going. How are we doing on the condensed carbon? Okay, we're doing pretty good on that. We don't really need a whole lot more of it. Yeah, that should be good. I think we can hold off on that from now on. There we go. Take a look. Like I said, we can get a little more buried technology. I like that one. I don't know. We don't really have to get too much more of it. So let's just go ahead and head on this direction instead. Because we're getting out off track. There's more ships coming. See? See how fast, how much more often they're coming? Doesn't seem to make him drop. I'm going to take a look around, make sure one didn't drop behind me when I wasn't looking. Ancient data structure. we got a couple of them over there. Let's take a peek, because again, they are worth a lot if you get the right amount. I got some stuff out of it that I need to get rid of. Okay. There we go. More ships. No one landing. Okay, that's fine. Ah, that's a good one. Watch this. Exosuit upgrade chart. Excellent. Totally. All right, that's good news, because that's worth quite a bit. Let's check it out. 85,000, so it's worth a pretty good penny. All right, so we are absolutely full in our inventory here. Um, we literally have no more no more room. So I'm not sure what to get rid of first. We're gonna have to figure that out. You, that's what we're gonna get rid of first. So we'll get rid of the rest, and that'll leave us with one more spot available for anything else we come across, like an upgrade, maybe. Just saying. Ow. Yeah, that hurt. Okay, so we are in good shape now. How much do we have in the... Uh, let's see, we've got two. So we need seven more. Let's take a look around, make sure we don't have a landing pad we're missing. 44, 43. Yeah, let's get that one. Like I said, let's see if we have an upgrade for us. Just nanites. That's just perfectly fine. There's another couple ships flying over. I've shot at a bunch of them and it hasn't helped any. So, I think I'm done shooting at them. Let's see which way these guys go. And you see they're coming a lot more often now, so I think we're coming up on a landing platform. What we're going to look for is look for them circling. So there is something up here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ah, we were running a little too long there. That's okay. But yeah, we're going to let this episode run out. Maybe we can find ourselves something. Maybe it'll be the shortest episode I ever do with this stuff. Let both of these three charge, both my jet juice and my run juice. 
Okay, there we go. Hey guys, good to see you. Just passing through, my friend. Oh, look at you. One of those buildings again. Um, gonna skip it. If it was one of the big ones, we would have gone there because they could give us upgrades. Alright, let's take a peek. Uh, let's see. Anything, anything, anything. Gotta look amongst the rocks here because sometimes things can be hard to see. Alright, let's go for the damaged machinery up here. There we go, right there. I would love to have some thermal protection, please. If I can place an order, that is. Ah, that's an upgrade. We're going to get an upgrade out of it. Oh, that's a hyperdrive module. <laughs> oh, the wrong upgrade. Okay, that's good. Well... Gee darn, I don't know which one we need to get rid of. Let's get rid of the tubers for now, I guess. Platinum. Platinum's not worth much. Let's go ahead and get rid of the platinum. Move you down. Okay, that'll be good. Stop flashing at me. I know you're there. Alright, so our treasure is that way. South is that way. So we're heading in this direction. Okay. Get a little more buried technology. Any more buildings? I don't see any. Okay, good. Wow, they're really coming more and more frequently, these buildings. Ah, uh, these buildings. These, uh, oh, look, a building. There they are. Okay. What do you got for me? Nanites. Lots of upgrades. Hey, too bad that's not a trading terminal, but if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, those are whispering eggs. I would love to gather up some whispering eggs right about now, but they can only carry three at a time in each inventory slot, and that's just not worth it. I mean, the nanites, we can always make ourselves a refinery, but that's going to take up room in our inventory. Use some sodium this time. We're going to have to get some more cobalt, I think, soon. What is that? Tree. Alright, what do you think? How much how much technology, uh, buried technology we got? We're short one. For full stack there. So we've really got everything we need. Okay. We've got to be getting close to something. I know we are. I can... Yeah, good deal. Let's get to the top of the hill here. There we go. And what do we have there? An unknown building in the distance. Interesting. What do we have coming up in front of us? Now, the ships would have started circling if it was one of those. But they're not, so it's not a landing platform yet. But I'm telling you, we got one coming up really soon. What we really need now... Oh, is that what this is? Interesting. What we really need now is we need... A cave. Landing platform would be great, but we could use a cave. Let's say we get this last one, shall we? 
There it is. Another building. Last battery. Let's start gathering up sodium. Alright, we got a building in front of us. At least that's something. They're flying overhead again. I'm telling you, we got it. We've got something coming up right over that hill. It's going to be right there. The ships are getting more and more and more frequent. This does not look abandoned. That's good. Oh, hello. Found a cave. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and check out your cave. Thanks. Uh, you could at least give me that. I could use a couple batteries. I need about, I don't know, 30 or so cobalt. It's okay. Ah, there's some. Alright, let's see. I almost want to get rid of this at this point. These are worth something if I can get upgrades, but I can't install them anywhere to get them out of the way. We have room now. Okay, let's go ahead and do... Batteries. That's not what I want. That one. Okay, four batteries. That should get me going for now. Alright. Let's go. Let's see if we can get out of here now. Look, a pit. I hate when that happens. Uh, plant. Yes. Always scan the plants. You know what I could do? I could scan the sodium plants, too. Hey, is that? That's an animal I haven't discovered yet. Excellent. And we can scan the oxygen plants, because we haven't scanned them yet, either. Okay, good. Very, very good. There's only one more animal we haven't discovered. And if he's inside one of these caves, we're, on, we're in good shape. But that's okay. No big deal. Oh, crap. This is a protected facility. All right. It is what it is. All right. Where are we going? What did we discover? Enterprising. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, yeah. You're welcome, man. Uh, let's see. So we're looking for buildings. Okay, let's go. Uh, which way is he going? Is he going to the right a little bit? Yes. Alright, so we're actually heading in the right direction. We're heading to that peak over there. So that'll be good. Hoping to find something soon, but let's keep going. I really have a lot of faith that that's where everything is. It's going to be over there. Ships are getting more frequent. Come on. Come on. I'm running out of run juice. gotta be something down there, I'm telling you. We got another place over here. I'll check it out. Maybe it'll be worth my time. If one of you guys will land, I can get rid of some of my inventory, but you're not gonna do it, are you? Good. 
Good thing is we got plenty of oxygen on this planet, so I don't have to make any more life support gels. So I'm going to hold off on that and free up the inventory next time we get a little low. That'll help. Ah, okay, what do we got here? Hey, minor outpost. We'll take it. We can sell our stuff. Empty out our inventory. Excellent. Yay. All right. So this is good news. Man, look at all the purple on this planet. It's a really cool planet. And maybe we can get ourselves a better... Um, why am I running into something here? Anyway, sell 84 of them at 4.5 million, and it's a plus. That's good. Excellent. Let's get rid of that. All right, we're in excellent shape. What else do we have in here? Uh, the hydrogen jellies. Hmm. Actually, it might be worth it. We also got microprocessors, but they're expensive. So that gives us 5.1 million. So that's good. What kind of... Uh, ooh, that's pretty. A class. Oh my god, I can't even imagine how much it's going to cost. Yeah, 6.2 mil. That's a shame. It had a geology cannon on it. That could have come in handy. And a bolt caster already. Hmm. Like it would have just wanted me to get into a fight. Yeah. Maybe it's better. That's a nice weapon, though. It has three supercharged slots. That's pretty good. Two of them are very close by each other. Ugh, that would have been so nice. What do you got, sir? Uh, we can get blueprint, blue, uh, blueprints. That's right. I wonder, can we sell him our technology? Let's find out, huh? Uh, well, let me see. Purchase? Okay, we can't sell. But that's useless to us. Advanced mining laser, on the other hand, is not so useless. No, oh, I'd love to get that, but I can't. Hmm. Let's get the advanced mining laser. We can we can buy that while we're here. There's no reason why we can't. And let's see if we can sell him our... No, we can't. That's right. We can't. Okay, never mind. All right, so that's good. So I'm going to move you up here. I'm going to put you over here. And what do we need? Carbon nanotubes, hermetic seal, and two wiring looms. Okay, so let's see. Guess what? There's one wiring loom. And there's two wiring looms. Isn't that neat? So we need a carbon... How many carbon nanotubes? Let's check real quick. One carbon nanotube and one hermetic seal. So we can do both of those, I believe. Let's see. This carbon nanotube and hermetic seal is right here. Yep, we got it. Excellent. We now have an advanced mining laser. Excellent smithers. All right. And we got some phosphorus. Okay, well, that could come in handy. We'll see. I may, I may hang on to that for now. All right, and an empty inventory. Yay! Okay, good deal. Let's get out of here. There's the cache. There's south. So we're heading in this general direction. Okay. It's going to... Give me my wealth here. Magnate, yes. So we now have plenty of stuff. Money. To buy things. Like a ship. We might actually have enough to get a ship if we can find one for about 4 mil. And we know we're very close to a landing platform. I know this. So we're about an almost an hour and 20 in. And I've got a really good feeling. Easy... Look at that. We can get them all now. Excellent. Let's go. A little bit more oxygen. More buried technology. Got it. Okay, good. Let's get up this hill. 
Uh, let's see. Just want to make sure there's nothing around. Okay. Get the buried technology on the way. And that'll hopefully give us enough money between all of them that we can gather. It should give us enough money to buy a ship. And then we'll be in good shape. Now, another reason why I did this is because I do want to do a fugitive run eventually. Uh, a Beeble Bum fugitive run. I do want to do that eventually. But I wanted to cut my teeth on one of these first. And just get used to doing permadeath runs again. And of course, in doing so, I'm realizing how much easier it is than the fugitive run. <laughs> All right. We have metal fingers. I will go up there. It's in that direction. How many metal fingers are there this time? Just one again, and again it's gold. 107. Go to that one. I can hear ships flying overhead again. Nobody there. Just wanted to make sure there was nobody behind me. Sometimes they land. I thought there was another one. Ah, uh, it's right over here. Let's go to this one. It's damaged machinery. There's going to be one near it. Let's go ahead and up there. We want to get to the top of this hill anyway. Mountain, whatever this is called. Okay, let's see what we get. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Nanites. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where'd they go? There it is. Uh, I don't think we can grab that one. Yep, I know. There we go. So let's take a quick peek, make sure we're not missing anything again. We don't want to head north, and we're definitely not heading south. Let's get up to the peak up here. Let's go for you. I think you're on the other side of the peak. I think I hear more ships. There they go. No? Nobody up there? Get up to the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. Where'd they go? There they are. Lots. This place is a very rich planet when it comes to finding things. The last couple times I've been on these planets, they've been just de devoid of anything I could find. Okay, more nanites. Let's go to this one real quick and see what we get. Um, we went into a wall, that's what we did. Okay, here we go. Get rid of that. And... More nanites, okay. But we do have some buried technology. Can we get it this time? No? There we go. There we go. Got it. Hello. Thank you. Taking forever. Okay, he's going in an opposite direction, so I'm assuming he's going to head to the right in a minute. 
All right, this is an entire mountain range is what we're looking at here. So we're going to have to keep an eye open because the landing pad may be hidden from view. All right. And I grabbed it. Now I did. Up, up, up. Come on, hurry. Get your butt up there. All right. Nothing yet? Nothing? It's lies, I tell you. Lies. I know there's something out there. I know we have something out there. Ooh. I just got a reminder notice about mac and cheese in our freezer. Yay! That's always a good thing to find out. Uh, hmm. Isn't that special? Okay. So I guess we're going to go this way. Where are you, ships? Let's run along the ridge here. To the other one. So they're flying down that way. I'm going to expect them to hit to the right. There we go. Okay, good. You see them, like, right almost every single time here, so it's not like I'm making crap up. Yeah, so it's got to be out that way. Okay, let's go. Ah, falling, falling, falling. There we go. We're good. Everybody calm down. Hi, we take that. Thank you. All right, nothing like a nice, comfortable, cozy permadeath run. Oh, it's close. So we didn't go for the cash over there. We don't really need it. I'm not going to worry about it. Hello. Hopefully you don't blow up while I'm right next to you. All right. Anything down there? Nothing that I can see. All right. So we're going to go to the next range over there. Let's see what we can find. I am eventually going to have to stop playing, I guess. I just can't help it. Take you that time. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. We got plenty of this stuff. What do we got here? This is for hazard. This is hazard. But we need food. Okay. There we go. Not a problem. Get to that one. That one. An upgrade. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Thermal protection. Nanites. It's okay. Nanites are good. Um, so are buried technologies when they're here. That's weird. I don't see them. That's okay. Don't need them this time around. We're good. Oh, what do you know? An unknown building. I don't think it's a landing pad, but... That's okay. Maybe it'll be something special. Very difficult climb here, sorry. Went quiet there for a moment. 
We're just going to keep going, though. So, you know, when you do these permadeath runs, you know, once you get the, um, the basics, you don't really have to worry as much. Uh, let's see. This looks like just a standard observatory. Uh, we can at least duck inside to get some, uh, needed healing. That's going to be around this way, I think. I think. Of course, it's not over here. Come on, I don't want to have to use another battery or some more sodium. It should be right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Here we go. Recovering. And since we're indoors, it'll recover much, much faster. I wonder if this will work. So, 391... 3918. Nope, nothing. Okay, well, worth a shot. Sometimes it does it again. But at least we got the standing, it went up again. Okay, get rid of you. All right, I think we're good, don't you? I think we're all right. All right, let's go. Out the purple gate. North, south. Okay, here we go. Anything around us first before we just uh, run and jump into the uh, mix here? No? Good? That's where we're headed. Let's see if it'll allow us to go up this slope. No, it won't. Even though it's deep as all crap, it won't let us go up the slope. Alright, this is going to take a while. So, yeah, if you got anything you want to uh, do for now, you know, read a newspaper or whatever. Wow. I mean, I literally can't get up the slope by walking and it won't let me fly up the slope. There we go. Good. We made it. All right. Uh, let's see. Plants. Probably frost ward. Okay. Let's go. Uh, no doubt about it, my friend. No doubt about it. again. Okay, we don't see anything here. I want to check out the buried mineral form formation and the subterranean organic structure. Sometimes those are worth something. Now that the, what do you call it, the sentinels may not like it. Let's see what we got out of that. So we got this. That gave us some magna gold. This gave us some carbon. Okay, so not a whole lot of stuff. Oh, that was hazard protection too. Crap. Alright, well I just used up a bunch of stuff I didn't need to use. Alright, anything in the distance? No. Alright, so that's south, that's north, we're heading that way. Let's go. I kept saying that we'd find something by now, but hey, we're gonna find something. I promise you we'll find something. Sounds like we got some ships flying overhead again. There we go, yep. A ship. And some birds. To the right, okay, he's heading in this direction too. 
Really hoping we can find something here. Run away, run away. <laughs> there we go. All right. That gives us a little boost. Anything, anything, anything. Nope, I don't sense anything. I promise you we will find something. I keep saying that. I know we will. Sense it. More metal fingers. Hey, at least it's not the sack venom. That's what killed me on that one run. Man, oh man, that really upset me. Hey, what do we got here? I'll use my last battery. What do we got? Gold. 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 Wait a minute. Gold. Gold. Oh, wait, uranium. Gold and gold. Yeah, we'll, we'll get away from the gold. We're good. There's no platinum, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, okay, let's head that way. Ah, I don't believe that really hurt. I hit the ground running, my friend. Hey, look what we found in front of us. Yay! Where's the berry technology? There you are. All right. Congratulations to us. See? Told you I was going to find something. Told you. Told you about a dozen times. Not bad. An hour and 40... Not quite 40 minutes yet. Into the run. I don't really need anything anymore. I'm pretty much done. That's why it wasn't showing up. is because it was an archive, not a landing platform. But still... Archives work. Lots of exocrafts. Very nice. That exocraft, pardon me. Explorer models. Alright, so how do we get up here? Let's see, this one there, there's one there. I'll go to this one. Oh, would you look at that? That's why we're finding a ton of stuff here, because there's exotics. How much is it worth? 50 million. What a beautiful ship. I want to check it out anyway. Uh, hold on a second. Let's sell that. There we go. And that while we're here. Uh, let's pick up the starship. Oh, that is pretty. Isn't that a pretty ship? Ugh. What a beautiful ship. I would take that. I would take that in a heartbeat. Alright, we gotta get out of here before we die. Well, it looks like this run is just about over. Let's see, where is the... There it is. Just got to stand here for a moment and recharge. We have all the money we need. We have 6.5 million. We just got to find a ship to trade it in on. And I guarantee you it would probably be something more... <clears throat> That's a hauler, so I don't think we're going to get that one. And we're fully charged. Okay. Oh, this guy over here. I didn't see him. 49. 6.7. Uh, we might have enough. What do you got? Uh, we have 6.5 million. Let me see what I can sell. Anything at all. Nothing. I have nothing of value. So I cannot buy his ship. Err. And the other guy is down there. 8.8 .8 million for the solar ship. It's a very pretty ship. But I like that. Look at the color on that thing. Light blue. Very pretty. We're close. We're close. Any time now. There's another hauler. It's probably worth quite a bit. Yeah, 78. 
And there is another platform over here. Nothing on it at the moment. This is a pretty decent archive. They got a lot of landing platforms on it. Is this, uh... No? That doesn't protect you? Okay, we'll go over here. Alright, so this is pretty much it, folks. This is the end of the end. So not a bad run. I mean, you know, an hour and 40, a little bit more. We should be able to get ourselves a halfway decent ship here. 6.5 mil or whatever. We don't have to sell too, too much to get it. Don't need those. I'm not even worried about it. That's our ship back home. We're not allowed to trade in the ship. That's the thing, too. We can't trade in the ship that we have. That we never used, okay? So we have to get a ship free and clear. Let's check the alternative landing platform real quick. That one is worth 15 mil. It's an explorer. That's a pretty one, too. I like that. That's nice. I like the symmetry to it. You gotta have symmetry. Or else it's not worth it to me. How about you? Oh, what do you got? Fighter, 13 mil. Not gonna work for me. How about you? What do you got? 31 for the hauler. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else? Should be at least one more ship landing, I would think. Oh, there it is. And how much do you want? 12. Ah, so this is going to be the... 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 What's the word I'm looking for? The delay. The delay. And only four ships can land at a time. At a six landing pad, landing pad uh, platform. So, I have this unerring thing to purchase something from him... Go to that trade station there and buy a bunch of stuff and then go down there and complete my milestone. Ah, talk about your withdrawal symptoms. Good grief. Is it more like PTSD? Maybe that's what this is? Yeah. It's Expedition PTSD. That's what we got going on here. 35 mil. For a piece of garbage hauler. <laughs> I would never want that ship. Go over here. Ah, what do you got? 8 million. Okay, we're getting closer. I just need something for 6.5, guys. I mean, I could go look for something, I guess. I could get some more stuff and come back. I only need, like, one stack of, uh... things. Uh, the fighter's probably not gonna be, it's probably gonna be worth too much. Yeah, 18. Alright. So yeah, we just need something else. I wonder, can I see the other landing platforms from back here? Maybe up the slope a little bit? Yeah, I can. Look at that. I can see the platforms from here. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can see the ships, too. Okay. I just need to know if there's ships landing on the platforms, but I'm, I'm still, I'm in the, I'm in the wet. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, never mind. Come on, take off. Get me some cheap ships in here, please. I'm hungry and I want to eat dinner. Come on, hurry up. So this is this is how it ends, and you you notice that, and that's that's the advice I can give while you're running through um, the terrain like that. Watch the ships overhead; they will always direct you in the proper path you need to take to get to a um, landing platform of some sort. So that's where we ended up. Let me go over here and check real quick. Nothing there. Yeah, you're going to be a very expensive hauler. And they will always lead you right. You know, just head in the direction that they happen to be going in. 27 mil. Yep, yeah, that's not going to be worth it to me. All right. Now, I could go get more stuff. So, I don't have any materials. I got 6.5 million. 
If I could get it up to eight, that would definitely be worth it. I have a funny feeling this is a three-star system, which is why we found an exotic sitting on the platform when we arrived. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that's the reason why we're having trouble finding something cheap enough. How about you, buddy? You're usually worth quite a bit, though. 5.7. Well, how much do I have? Yay! Guess what? I get myself an explorer, and it's symmetrical, and I'm very happy with that. Ooh, look, you got two swords. I like it. You are mine. Offer on the ship. There it is. Negotiate the price. Ladies and gentlemen, this ship is now mine. And this is complete. I am now in a ship. So I have completed the run. I've completed the permadeath run. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And we are going to be doing a um, fugitive run. I'm going to check out Beeble Bum's latest rules and see if there's anything I need to brush up on on the, that one. And we'll try to get that done. Now, next week we will be doing... This will probably be the last video you see over the weekend. I do have a regular play coming out this week on Wednesday, as I do every Wednesday, and the Anomaly videos on Friday. And either Friday night or Saturday night next week I'll be doing a live stream and it will be either a permadeath run or maybe we'll do the uh, uh, with the no starter ship challenge or we'll do Beeble Bum's um, run I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet or not uh, finally uh, we could be doing just sentinel battles we could be just doing building a sky base of some sort basically be viewers choice we want you guys to decide so uh, hit me up with some comments and hit that like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again in the next video take care everybody bye bye now